I finally have it. We have the House Labs foundation, people. I know it took me so long. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. But like I said, I think I'm going to make foundation reviews exclusive for my YouTube channel. So you're only going to get this here, guys. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Anushka. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're going to be trying out the House Labs Skin Tech Foundation. Can we just take a moment for the packaging? Because she just feels luxurious. And I think I got the shade spot on. Okay, so I'm on the House Labs website. It says that it's a medium buildable coverage, weightless, clean foundation, helps reduce redness, helps even skin tone and protect from environmental stress. It's suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and acne prone skin. Powered with 20 plus skincare ingredients. That is insane. That alone, if I like this foundation, is gonna make that this even more worth it. It's got like fermented arnica. I don't know what that is. I think arnica is supposed to be good for like redness and stuff. 51 shades and I'm not mad at the shade range because a lot of fat brands they will claim like you know 30 plus shades but you'll get a bunch of like fair ones and just like one deep one and one extra pale one and then they claim like they have a bunch of shades but when you really look in the in-between shades like there aren't that many but here I'm seeing different tones a lot of medium tan to deep shade because there were so many options I struggled to like finally just decide what I wanted. They actually have a shade finder which I found really easy to use and it matched me to the shade and then when I looked up reviews online it kind of looked like my shade. Either I used foundation which I also did use and it kind of matched the shade finder. I don't know if they use the same technology but it all seemed to come to this one shade. When you're struggling to find your shade online I always um, use a shade finder. If it's not on the website I use foundation.com and then I'll look up reviews of that foundation shade. And I know you guys use my reviews for that same purpose which I so I know these videos are helpful. Don't just watch one review to like form your opinion, like watch a bunch of reviews guys. It's gonna help you really decide whether that foundation is gonna be for you or not. The foundation is $43.99, which is definitely on the higher end, but I've heard only good things about this foundation. So let's not waste any more time and give this a go. So the shade I have is 330 Medium Cool. When I first saw Cool, I was like, mm, I'm not like a cool tone girl. But cool is for yellow, golden or olive tones. And I'm the pure definition of like a golden olive tone. I have green veins. Comment below if you're a green vein girly like me. And then the warm is pink, rosy or peach tones. And then neutral is a balance of golden and rosy tones. A lot of the times I found that yellow tone foundations are just too yellow for me. So I always lean towards more neutral or olivey tones. Let me just prep my skin like I usually do. This is the Bare Minerals Smoothness Moisturizer. It's bomb.com. By the way, I got my foundation from Sephora. My Nivea Dark Spot Control SPF. If that shade is not my skin tone in a foundation. So she's definitely very liquidy. This side first. That shade match. I mean, that shade match is stunning. And let's blend this out. <laughs> Can we just take a moment, please? I'm coming close. I'm gonna put a bit more on my forehead. Okay, so that's one side done. I would definitely say it has a bit of a glow to it, a bit of a shine. It's definitely giving medium coverage, but I think I can definitely build up on that. It covered my scarring here pretty well. I don't really want to put more, but let's just try and see if we can get a, just a better flawless finish. Beautiful. Guys, it looks so good. That is my shade. Wow. Okay, now let's do the other side. Blend. <gasps> I don't even need to do anything. One thing about the beauty community is that when there's a bomb foundation, you know it's good. I'm so pale on my chest, it's actually annoying. Can we just take a moment for this? It is a close up, guys. Okay, let me finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, my makeup is done. This is really nice. It definitely feels like makeup with skincare in it because it's still like wet to the touch, I would say. I did set my face with powder, my Laura Mercier translucent powder, like I usually do. I didn't put setting spray because like that will like make it last even longer. So we're just going to see how this wears throughout the day. It just hit 12 p.m. So I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. I don't know how long. I don't know how long, but we'll see. We'll try and hit the 6 p.m. mark, if not later, so that it's a good maybe nine hour wear. But so far, I love this shade match is just chef's kiss. 
It feels really comfortable. It looks like skin. I love it, guys. And it really evened up my skin around my mouth area. The tone of it is perfect. I'll show you guys what this looks like in daylight with my phone and then I'll see you guys later on today. All right, guys, this is the shade match. It matches pretty well, to be honest. So I just really like it. All right, guys, it's just about 9.30 p.m. I mean, I must say, without any makeup setting spray my makeup looks pretty good and I also went to the dentist and like I had water like around here like they put like some molding kind of paste all over my mouth and to be honest the makeup held up pretty pretty well the only thing that I didn't like about this foundation was how much it transferred I never really get this but when I put it all over my chest like it was everywhere on my top and um I do sometimes get a bit of transfer but this was like a lot i feel like the next time i use this foundation because it is lush it is beautiful it is worth the hype i would probably use more powder especially around my mouth area because that's where like i touch my face a lot um and considering that my skin isn't that great at the moment i've got like this reaction to something here i don't know what it is but i've got so many of these little tiny bumps and yeah it just my skin just looks flawless i'm so tired can you tell guys can you tell i'm so tired i think the dentist really took my energy away and I'm a bit in pain I'm not gonna lie no smile lines it's definitely a more of a glowy foundation I love that there's skincare in it eyes beautifully there's a good shade range it's it's definitely a high-end product Would I purchase this again I, I would but yeah just use a bit more powder maybe if I put setting spray I wouldn't get this issue of transfer to be honest because I do put setting spray whenever I put my makeup on so maybe that's why I noticed a bit more of a difference I don't know but yeah nine plus hours I could like start afresh the next day with this makeup I don't really have anything yeah apart from the transfer that's all I have to say guys I'm glad I tried this foundation the packaging is like beautiful and I'm so happy with the shade just kind of lowered the brightness a bit so you can see my skin I've had a reaction here so ignore that but is it too dark so yeah i really hope you enjoyed this review and you found it helpful let me know what you guys think what's the next thing i should review let me know as well and yeah thank you so much for sticking around and thank you so much for all the love in my last makeup video i really appreciated every single comment that you guys left and it really warmed my heart up and made me want to continue doing these videos so i really am thankful and um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.